guys, I'm back and today I have a review. Yes, this is going to be the first review I do on this channel and I'm super excited. Especially since this book was, uh, let's just say by the end of the night when I had finished it, this was about 11 o'clock last night, I wanted to chuck the book across the room and swear all, all sorts of profanities at it. And yet for some reason I was entertained and still enjoyed it. So if you guys are wondering what that is, and if you follow me on Goodreads and Twitter, you might already know this. It's J-Pod by Douglas Copeland. And the reason I picked this up was because for the Pop Sugar uh, Reading Challenge, you have to read a book that's in your city. Now, I live in a very small town in BC, Canada, so you don't get books like that, so I navigated to the nearest city. This is set in Vancouver and Burnaby mostly. And yeah, this is about Ethan and he works for a gaming company in Burnaby and he works with five other people whose last names all start with J and they are forever known as the J-Pod. So this is a very um, shenanigans kind of book. Weird shit happens um, but also weird... Let's see if I can find it. Oh, one instance that drove me absolutely crazy. See, this is, I'm, I'm flipping too many pages, and this is what drives me crazy. So, they start talking about Pi. So, these are people who are supposed to be working for a video, video game company, and half the time they don't work. They spend most of their day procrastinating from doing work. So, they do shit like this. They post numbers of Pi, and this goes on for pages and pages and pages. And then there's other things with, like, weird Chinese symbols, and... It's the most obscure book I've read, and it's the first Douglas, Douglas Copeland novel I've read. I'm, I have mixed feelings. It, I, I don't know, this is the most meta book I've ever read. I've never seen an author um, refer to himself as in the character is meeting said author who is writing the book and plays a pivotal role in the storyline. It's just weird. Not only that, um, one thing I did really love about this book is the setting. The fact that it's set in Vancouver, Burnaby, it talks about Cloverdale and Maple Ridge, which unless you're from British Columbia, you probably don't know where those places are. But for people in this area, because there's, there's Vancouver and then outside of Vancouver there's the Metro Vancouver area and then outside of that is the Fraser Valley. I reside in the Fraser Valley and it's very, um, People don't talk about it much. Yeah, most Vancouverites think we're just a bunch of backwoods hillbillies. So there's that. And it's it's hilarious how he tries to acknowledge as a Vancouverite responding to different locations throughout um, southern BC. It, it's quite hilarious. It's quite comical. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend this to um, Canadians, especially BCers, if you haven't experienced this book, this book you'll probably find hilarious. It's weird. I don't recommend it to everybody. This is an acquired taste. There are certain things that will definitely come across as uh, misogynistic and offensive. And yeah, this is a, this is a satirical book that you take with a grain of salt. Granted, I still enjoyed it. Overall, I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, and even then, I don't know if that is quite what I'm officially going to give it. I don't know. Right now, it's at a 3 out of 5. I liked it. Didn't love it. It pissed me off. It made me laugh. It's one of those really weird books. Um, so yeah, it was fun. I'm definitely picking up more Douglas Copen novels, especially uh, ones that are set in Canada. I know I have Generation A. And I'd really like to pick up Hey Nostradamus. So yeah, if you've read Douglas Copeland before, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. And if you haven't, um, do you think you'll pick up J-Pod afterwards? So yeah, that's about it. That's my quick review. I will see you guys again. Talk to you later. Bye.